Welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Amber and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Boat by Ed Sheeran on the guitar. If this is something you're interested in, then stick around and let's get into the lesson. We're only going to be needing four easy beginner friendly chords for the song and in order to play it in the same key as Ed Sheeran, I want you to put a capo onto your fourth fret. Now the first chord you're going to need is an E minor, we then need a D major, we then have G major, and our final chord is a C add 9 chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. If you are brand new to playing the guitar and you're a bit uncomfortable with the C add 9 chord shape, you can play a normal straightforward C chord. It's completely up to you and what you're comfortable playing. The strumming pattern that we're going to be using throughout the entire song sounds like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That is one round of the pattern. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. So if we jump into the verse of the song, it's going to be starting on an E minor. So we're going to do the strumming pattern once on E minor. D and then we're going to change to C add 9 and we're going to do the strumming pattern twice on the C add 9. So in total this, the verse is going to sound like this. of the song, the chords start on a C add 9, we're then going to switch to a G chord and we're going to split the G and the D over the strumming pattern. So the G is going to get the first half of the pattern, we then switch to the D for the second half of the pattern. So let's put that all together from the C add 9. three times in the chorus so let's do that three times now ready here we go and We're going to have our C add 9 for one round of the pattern. We're then going to move on to an E minor chord, which is going to be split with a D. Followed by one down strum on the C add 9. So let's put that all together, starting on that C add 9 chord to E minor. Now, what I'm going to be doing in the music when we play along at the end, I'll put a little star, or otherwise known as an asterisk, next to the chords that only need one down strum. So the next section is the part where he sings, but the waves won't break my boat. And in this section, he's going to be doing one down strum on most of the chords. So we're going to have a G to a D, back to G to D. And then when we change that C add 9, we can reintroduce that strumming pattern. G for one strum. And to C add 9. Right guys, now that you've 
you've learned how to play the different sections of the song, join me in the next part of this lesson where I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the song. Just make sure to look out for those little asterisks next to the chords. That'll indicate to you when you need to be doing one single down strum. Other than that, you can use your strumming pattern on the rest of the chords. One, two, three, four, five, six. today's guitar tutorial. If you found value in the lesson then please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. I've also got some free material down in the comment section below so don't forget to go and grab that and say hi in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time I hope to see you in the next lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye!